So who in the hell had their phone ring and said no? That's the real question here. And before anybody pisses on Eubanks and the bullet or or pisses on Dana White or the promotion or anybody involved in this, you're looking at it the wrong way. You need hey, thank you. Congratulations, Eubanks, for stepping into a main event at MSG. Didn't see that coming. Congratulations to the bullet who's done everything right. Just had her dreams taken from her. She she got the main event. She got the title fight she was promised. Congratulations to that. But now let's look a little bit closer. Whose phone rang and who chickened out? Because that matters. This is a retail product. You're buying something with the level expectation of a fan. And it's not enough for the people that are selling this to us to just say it's entertainment anymore. No, it's not. It's more than that. You're cutting interviews. Those interviews are promises. And then us fans are parting time not only with our time, but with our money to purchase it. So you got to tell the truth. So who cowered out of the fight so that when I see his next sales pitch, known as an interview, and I hear him talk about how tough he is and how bad he wants it and how he's willing to sacrifice and go through anything and just needs an opportunity, that I can know who the liar is. I would really, really like to know that. And I feel it's my I feel it is my business. Some people may say, ah, it's none of your business. No, I think that it is. I do think that it is. Because I haven't seen a fighter come out and give an interview and tell the truth, which is apparently if everything in the world is blowing in my direction, I'll make that walk. And if anything is not, I won't. The only guy that I've ever seen tell the truth in a negative way, I have seen some legitimate tough guys. Ben Askren comes to mind. I have seen some actual tough guys come out and tell it the way it is, but then behind closed doors they walk the walk. I have seen that. I've never seen anybody, aside from George St. Pierre, come out and just tell you the truth, which isn't always great for him. I'd fight that guy, but he seems like he's a little bit too big. Eh, I might do that, but you know, I, I I would need this and this and there. Eh, I'm probably not going to do that match because I've never seen and and he people frown on it. Fans don't like it. They push back. They give resistance. No matter how many people he's beat or how many championships he's won or how many years he's do, done it over, when he comes out and he tells you the honest truth, there seems to be a little bit of pushback. Instead of looking at it and going, "Well, that was a really honest answer." So who were the guys whose phone rang and said no? I can tell you one for sure, and I don't know why the promotion hasn't come out and told it. I don't know why. why I, I, I don't understand it. There used to be a time where we would do this. There used to be a time where the truth would get told, which is that guy's a chicken. I know that John Jones was offered that fight against Gustafson. I have hinted to, that, to you guys many times. I have made that prediction many times. I would assume without ever stating it that when Chael comes in here because of the position in the sport that Chael has, you would know Chael knows things. You would know I did, no matter how much, oh, hmm, I think, you know what I think might be a good idea? Man, if I'm saying, I know, I already know. I already know. I already know exactly what they're trying to do. I know who's making what, when when they're making it, I know who their managers are, I know when they were, I, I know all the things. And there's some things I can't come out and say to you this clearly. I can't say I very clearly know and here's who I heard it from. I can't do that. And sometimes I just straight up speculate. That's true too. But so you got John Jones, that they they went and got cleared, went through hell to get it done, and he says no. All right, fair enough. Fair enough. But the next John Jones interview, it'd be nice to hear him say that. I'm a really tough guy on nights that I feel like being tough, and and the rest of the time, I'm not. I'm a chicken. I'm really good at the sport. Haven't found anybody that can beat me yet. But boy, am I a scaredy cat inside. All right, great. But who else, guys? For some reason, I do have a very hard time in believing that Ubanks and the Bullet were the second ones called. 
I heard talk of Romero. Don't know what happened there. Believe the talk, though. That was confirmed. I don't know what happened or whose side bailed. I don't know. But who else got the call? And there's some moving parts. You got Diaz and Poirier. Boy, there was talk. For me, it made a, it made a little bit of sense as, as, as time was ticking and running out that that fight just be elevated. Now, you can't just do that. You got to go back to the guys. It appears as though that is what they tried to do. I'm basing this on some social media. I could call Nate and just ask him, but I didn't. So I'm going to base this on some social media. But it appeared to me, elbow, elbow, wink, wink. Right? Do I have to start doing that around here? Do I have to start doing that when I'm telling you guys something that I know for sure, but I need to act like maybe I don't? You guys are smart enough to know if I'm saying, I know what the hell I'm talking about, right? <laughs> are we all, we're all on the same page. The charade is up. Listen, they wanted to move that to a main event, but that changes the deal. The deal was a co-main event. The relevance being, how many rounds are we going to go? That's a very relevant thing. How many rounds are we out there fighting for? It's extremely relevant. And a fighter would have, even with my own close-minded opinions on what a tough guy and a company and a loyal guy does, not only to the company and to his promoter and his fellow athletes, but to you, the fans that has bought tickets and has an expectation. Even in my very limited and closed-minded view of that, I will share with you, if you're going to change the fight by 80%, we're having a new conversation. You want to keep it same, same, go ahead. You want us to close the night? You want to throw a fight on after us? No more walkouts, no more music? Everybody gets up and goes home after my fight instead of one more? Whatever. You want to change the atmosphere and the environment by 80% with a fight that's 32 days away, That is a different conversation. 